everyone welcome to the update of 11th july sectors have been rotating every day today was a turn for oil sector reliance is busy in the marriage functions so that did not go up but the remaining sector was on a tear in fact some of the stocks were up nearly 10 percent earlier and then they cooled down a bit volumes were fantastic what was the trigger the petroleum minister said india should explore more of domestic oil so that we don't have to be reliant on oil imports that's pretty much it so today we start digging oils we start taking the oil out we start increasing our capacity to refine and then we consume this from tomorrow the companies will have an increase in their eps that means the p's can go up a lot more we'll also export aviation fuel produced in india so mrpl will do fantastically well so let's celebrate let's party that's the state of stock markets there is no tomorrow to buy stocks Looking at the frenzy of the volumes, I also joined the party. I bought a bit of MRPL. MRPL has always caused me losses only. I have never made money in it. But I still decided to join the party. Alright, TCS results are out. The impact can be seen partially in Infosys ADR. In pre-market, it has not tanked or crashed. It is up a little only. So hopefully the streets will take the results kindly. FIs were net sellers today. DIs were net buyers. Nothing big in terms of sell volume nor in buy volumes. TCS quick review of the results. I had expected the revenues to be 64,000 crore but they came lower than my expectations. TCS has said that the sales realizations have been lower than what they wanted or expected. Our expenses were in line that is despite the revenue not meeting the guidance I was making. As a result operating profit was lower than what I expected. Operating margin also was lower than what I expected. 2% lower. These are against my expectations. Net profit I had expected to increase, how that came at 12,104 crore. This is lesser than previous quarter. EPS I was expecting 36, but since the operating profit and net profit were low, the net EPS was 33.28. The dividend also is lesser, rupees 10. This is actually good news. They are saving money. Hopefully, they'll acquire some companies. Or maybe next quarter, if the results are exceptionally bad, they'll give a higher dividend. FIDI and public data has not been released yet. Overall, I would say lukewarm results. It is better than what Street was expecting. Everyone was very skeptical this time. That is why TCS was falling for last few days. Now, HCL will come up with its results tomorrow. This may have a rub-off effect on HCL in the initial part and also on Infosys, especially if the ADR goes up. So, I put a confused icon here because I personally feel the results are not that great. The grand party, the grand party starts tomorrow, three-day festivities of Mr. Amani's son's wedding. Also a reminder that HDFC will go through their upgrade of their core banking starting Saturday. How did the markets do today? Reliance was on marriage leave. The next four big stocks were down. TCS now down for five consecutive days. I think it will break the trend tomorrow. It will open gap up. HDFC also is looking really, really fragile after the 5% fall. One very interesting joke right now on internet. If you search on how to buy, then the number four is how to buy BSNL SIM. You can relate the joke to the price hike from Jio and Airtel. These two stocks may lose some customers to BSNL. Not all the people care for 5G and the big brand. They are okay if the phone receives a call, makes a call and receives messages. No big violent moves today. SBI was up a percent after yesterday's fall. ITC up yet again 1.5 percent. ITC is looking good. It was down a bit yesterday. But in general, the charts are looking solid. Gold improved a bit more, 0.2%. Silver up yet again. The most consistent performer on this dashboard in last two or three weeks has been silver. Bitcoin up yet again. Rupee did not go anywhere. Crude did not go anywhere. Nifty expiry was okay. Markets opened down. And they were not very violent. There were no big moves besides this particular fall maybe. But that also was a 100 point fall, nothing big. VIX cooled continuously, 3% down to 14 levels. Next 50 was up 0.2%, better than Nifty. Alright, Reliance did not do anything. TCS corrected severely, but then it went up a lot. In the last 2 minutes, that was 8 minutes before the release of the result, TCS suddenly crashed. Also, there was one point in that day where nearly all the stocks corrected. This is my conspiracy theory on synchronized fall. Nifty here, Bank Nifty here, HDFC Bank, all the large stocks, terrific coincidence that all of them corrected at the same time. Banking wise, PSU Bank still look tired. 
most of them are opening at the days high and going down sbi was an exception it moved up after going down overall bajaj finance is looking very weak also on the 52 week high low chart so is the parent bajaj finserv these two are twin packs just like pfc and rec now this may be because it is being felt that geo financial along with geo mart will take away significant business from the these twins pfc went up yet again 1.75 percent it is continuously in the 52 week high zone defense pack after correcting for last few days made a comeback it was up and up a lot grsc 5 percent data pattern 6 percent musgaon dock 7 percent huge gains in most stocks the, the sector was up two percent metal slightly better day led by hindustan zinc it opened gap up 10 points today and remained up whole day it sector tcs is not reflecting the last two minute fall somehow so this is showing a positive up move which is not the case overall no big moves in the top four players everyone was waiting for tcs to declare the results overall sectoral volumes were pretty good today there was a lot of interest in it the power companies however were low the sector went down 0.3 percent selectively nhpc and sgvn were up however everyone else nearly was down tata power slightly up at 0.7 percent this is one stock in my long-term portfolio overall sectoral breadth slightly better 19 stocks up compared to 18 yesterday the power pack was dragging the indices down most followed by real estate pharma textiles now maybe if the textile minister says tomorrow that we should manufacture more clothes in india then this sector will also go up 10 percent tomorrow i am not at all taking a dig at the india story i am a firm believer however the behavior of retail investors is very rational indicating how cheap money is where no one cares for losing the money in the stock market be it options or be it cash market oil sector was up most followed by aerospace and defense software coal construction engineering rvnl was up today also 3.3 percent lnt corrected a bit 0.8 percent cement pack on average did not go anywhere adani enterprises corrects half percent every day dmart up itc up but rest everyone down logistics on fire shipping corporation of india up 20 percent this probably is being linked to the railway story people need fresh ideas to buy insurance cooled down a bit though lic was still up 0.8 percent investment banking is clueless where to go siemens abb down pharma deep cuts today real estate also big cuts this will have a spiraling effect on cement steel as well as home construction stocks see here astral kajaria Sera, all of them down telecom both big players down the biggest one is attending the marriage of course my portfolio today i bought bdl cochin not the city cochin shipyard a bit of mrpl i know it will give me losses but still i bought it rvnl i mentioned yesterday today i sold 50 percent of the investment portfolio also there is no point holding it if you have already got 55 60 percent gains irfc also 33 percent of the trading portfolio is gone today the gains in irfc are not as high as rvn probably around 15 16 percent but that too is decent i do expect irfc to go up any day that is why i have held on to a little of it but i do expect a bit of correction in the stocks that have run up a lot so i want to buy them back both these stocks if they correct in next one or two days i'll buy again bl i sold off as a hedge if defense pack tanks on friday or monday then these two stocks will go down bl also will go down so i'll buy back what i sold in bl so very basic hedge my investment calendar green today so overall day was going okay tcs also was in a profit i'll talk about the position it was in 8000 profit till 328 pm at 330 pm this was a loss of 2000 so this value changed by 10000 in the last two minutes let me show you why so this is the why this was about eight to nine minutes before the tcs results were formally announced maybe some people got a sniff this is again a conspiracy theory but 3928 to 3900 a 30 point fall in tcs that's nearly one percent fall in the last two minutes of the day very very unusual this happened to sbi also a couple of days back overall tcs was volatile it opened up came crashing down then it consolidated it went up suddenly and it came down a lot nifty was doing okay started down then went up no major hiccups for the day one interesting thing which i've been doing these days is on nifty expiry i trade in bank nifty on bank nifty expiry i trade in nifty so this was bank nifty it was pretty good for traders 
the candles are very supportive of reasonably long trades you don't have to just scalp big up moves big down moves big up moves this is good for traders my fino trades in the morning i took a very small trade in nifty profitable then i traded a bit in bank nifty one position became bad but then it got rescued all three were profitable in the end this was a mix of going long and short i've taken two long positions in tcs in the money at 3850 right now they have turned into a loss but let's see tomorrow it should be good so tomorrow if tcs closes 2% up then this position will be in 16000 profit i won't keep it over the weekend probably i'll square it off as soon as i see where tcs is going i do have a very strong mood to actually short infi when i sell tcs but i'll probably not do it on friday i'll do it probably on tuesday or wednesday in the past most of my readings i have executed them two or three days in advance after that the stock goes up if i am shorting for example and then i go into losses if infosys corrects then i'll probably not do it but if infi goes up then in next two three days i might short it a bit because i expect infi's results to be lot weaker than tcs now i could be obviously very wrong so right now it's like being in the middle of a world cup final for cricket as well as football two major events going on and the result rally is in full swing people are looking for ideas every stock that can be related to say defense infrastructure railways just pick it up and it will be up 10 15% 20% in a day or two maybe that is the mood and this is very dangerous i'm not skeptical on the budget i am not overly optimistic either that there will be big things big reforms in the budget if they happen great however the fm does not wait for the budget for major announcements For example GST council meets several times in a year they take all the decisions related to GST they don't announce them in the budget oil prices change whenever it is required they don't wait for budget big railway decisions are no longer taken once in a year i do expect for example new trains will be announced new initiatives will be announced maybe some factories will be announced in andhra pradesh in bihar maybe all those things under political compulsions of a coalition may happen however if you are a long term investor you will find the same stocks here only or lot lower in the next two months for sure one question i was asked in comments is if not in the market where to invest till the markets fall well my choice is gold you could have a different choice so i have bought the november sgb tranche for that some of my money is lying in gold and around november it will mature markets i expect to be lot down at that time because also of the us elections at that time i will probably convert the gold investments into equity again happy investing thanks for watching i'll see you tomorrow